Jamin Davis. Welcome here, man, to Snackin' with Selby, the official partner of Safeway. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I've never had sweet potato pie before. Oh, really? Never. Why sweet potato pie, man? Like, what's what's the connection there? Uh, I mean, it was just one of those things that, like, every Thanksgiving growing up, my grandma used to make it a lot, and uh, it was just one of those tastes that it just, I don't know, it just was hooked on me, and then, like, on my tongue, it's just every time I feel like the, the sweetness of sweet potato pie just make me feel a little different inside. So where, where do you fall on the whole sweet potato versus pumpkin pie debate? Are you like adamantly oh, like against now. pumpkin come on pie? Now. That's a no-brainer, sweet potato pie. So you don't, eat, you don't eat pumpkin pie at all? Nah, not really. Wow. I mean, I had it before, but of yeah. course, I'm it a sweet potato compare. pie guy. Yeah. All right, cool. So we got some here, and we know you got some pretty strict diets. So we're going to try to practice, you know, healthy moderation, you know? So let's try this out. Right, let's go let's for see it. what we're doing. See me, I take big bites, you know. All right. All right, yeah. Not bad, right? For somebody that said they ain't never had it, it tastes pretty yeah. good. Uh, see me, this is how I used to eat it. I don't use it before. <laughs> Just go in. I like that. Second year, you know, I mean, everyone goes to those crazy, you know, first year, second year learning adjustments. What do you think the biggest thing that you've learned over the past year has been? Probably just doing a lot of soul searching and figuring out who I am as a player. Mm -hmm. uh, just getting real comfortable in my own skin, like not trying to go out there doing too much extra thinking and whatnot. A lot of that played a role in just being around a guy like Cole. Getting a chance to learn from him and just being beside him in the meeting room and out there on the field has been nothing but a blessing because a guy like that, he, he walked in my shoes before, yeah. like literally just last year, he was playing the same position before the switch. And uh, just learning from him, like I said before, nine times out of 10, if he's saying something, it's probably gonna yeah. be right out there. So it's real beneficial. So another thing that really kind of, whenever you first got drafted here, the military background, right. you know, with your family, that was something that got brought up a lot. What is it like, you know, cause I mean, I have people, I have some family members in the military, but obviously like my dad was never in the military, my mom was never in the military. What is that? Is it really that much different in terms of lifestyle? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, the way you look at life completely is just, it's, it's really diverse because you, you, you're real disciplined with everything that you do. You pay attention to just like simple things as far as like how you walk down the street, how you carry yourself throughout life and just, you never know one day uh, which deployment might be the last or, you know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things where you always got to respect them because they give an ultimate sacrifice at the end of the day. So it's just, when it comes to our freedoms in this country and whatnot, I always was just real respectful of it because of how I was raised. I would imagine that, I mean, that just brings a lot more meaning to whenever you're, you do get a chance to spend time with your dad, right? Because, oh, yeah. you know, he's oh, doing yeah. all his different kinds of stuff and you have those different kind of bonds and relationships with him. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just, you just cherish the little moments a lot more than other people might like realize because it's like, you never know which moment might be the last or anything like that. So you just, like I said before, they're giving the ultimate sacrifice at the end of the day, so like you just got to go out there and respect them just a little bit harder than others. Ron Rivera, former linebacker. Jack Del Rio, former linebacker. You got you know two of the former linebackers you know, who have really good NFL careers. The past couple of years or so, like how have you been able to learn from them and have they kind of imparted some of their knowledge onto you? Oh, definitely, especially a guy like Coach Del Rio, man. He's just... He wants me to just go out there and just be myself and just be a playmaker, like not trying to do all the extra thinking or nothing like that. And that's just one of those things for me that helped me get a lot more confident is like knowing I got a guy like that that's backing me and just wants me to go out there and just be the best version of myself that I possibly can be because, I mean, eventually it's going to lead to some great results. So we're just going to go out there and ball out. So you mentioned that, you know, sweet potato pie is kind of like the, the Thanksgiving staple over your yeah. place. What are, in your opinion, the top five Thanksgiving side dishes out there? I'm putting you on the spot, but oh, I've got to know. Uh, and I'm judging you heavily on this, up so front, be ready. Up front, i got to get some homemade mac and cheese. Got okay. to, man. I, I, if I it's like made that. the right way, you just you can't beat it. Probably some collard greens, of course. I'm going okay. to throw a okay. little hot sauce in there as well. Of course, <laughs> of course. That's really my top two. Like, when it comes to my plate, i got to have ham, mac and cheese, uh, collard Turkey greens. Turkey or ham? Oh, come on, ham. I mean, honey-baked ham, right? That's, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's a no-brainer. Yeah. I've never been a big turkey guy anyway, so, I, I mean, it ain't even Thanksgiving time yet, and I'm already thinking about it. I'm ham, too, but I would try, I would recommend deep-fried turkey. Deep-fried turkey. That is, I mean, it's just You're actually not perfect. the first person that does it. It's really too, good. So it's really try. good, yeah. yeah. Say you're talking to, to, to future Damon Davis. You know, he's entering, you know, year three <laughs> of his NFL career. What do you hope that, you know, an older, more mature Damon Jamie Davis have, has achieved in the 2022 season? Just to keep going and stay focused on what the main goal is, and that's taking this team to the playoffs and getting a Super Bowl run eventually. So, 
I mean, just knowing myself and who I am and who I'm becoming is, is no no limit to where I can really reach. So, I mean, looking back on like everything that's happened the past year or so and going forward into now and how comfortable I am, I know there's literally no limit to what I can become. All right, man. I appreciate you coming on. And if you want any more pie, anything else, <laughs> hey, I'm, man, I'm I'll available. Take the whole thing oh, yeah. with me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. Thanks for coming on Stacking with Selby. Sponsored by Safeway. Yes, sir. Thank you.